All right, so this is going to be a Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well uh, Leo Rising weekly general tarot reading, June 1st to June 7th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a uh, personal reading, you can check out the description down below, and there you're going to see a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. And as well, uh, if you like the way I read tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, uh, my third season of tarot classes is starting at the 21st of June and you can sign up for it by going into the tarot classes section of, uh, of my website. The course is six uh, weeks long uh, which, with a lecture every week of a length of two hours. So that being set aside, moving to the Leo uh, general tarot reading, the first card that you do have guys is going to be about the topic and the theme of the week, that is to be the death card. Moving next, we do have the energy which is feeding and supporting the topic and you can't have it any, in an, any more straighter or straight answer than that. Uh, this is going to be the world card. So. Uh, moving next, we do have the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week. That is going to be the Ten of Pentacles, followed by uh, the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy throughout the week here, Leo. That is to be um, the Strength card. Moving next, we do have uh, the uh, impression that you are going to leave into the people around. That is going to be the Fool. And the last one uh, is the Guidance, that will be the Guidance of the Tree of Swords. So those six cards, and there is no mistaking it here, especially with the, uh, we do have, oh my God. Okay, so uh, with those two here, the energies and the topic, in pretty much what the week will be all about, it is that one thing ends and another starts, okay? So with the energies, it does look like that you have uh, going to reach the culmination of your work, okay? Uh, I, nothing more after that can be done. So those energies will help you to get the most out of something. Now, that doesn't mean that you may be, uh, that you are to be pleased with the results. It's just these are the maximum results out of something. And what is done is done. What it is, it is. And from there, you need to um, go for pretty much a new perspectives, which leads you to the situation itself. And that is going to be the situation of the death card. And death card is all about that as well. The one thing ends, but another replaces it. Another takes its place, as uh, I'm explaining that into my classes. But here, I'm going to just take a few, uh, a few moments to show you that. So we do have and a dead emperor here, which the fourth horseman of the apocalypse came to claim, but we do have another emperor to take his place, therefore the empire does not end, okay? And, uh, or the empire is not destroyed. So literally what those two cards here are pointing is, for example, changing one job for another, changing one relationship for another, okay? Or it could be changing a, a status from single into being in a relationship from jobless into getting being employed from jobless being employed uh, or it is just going to the new chapter and for some of you even that is going to be more extreme going into a, a, a new book like writing a, a brand new book into your life now that for some of you uh, although I think from the majority of you is going to be the so much needed uh, change that will allow you to breathe from now on okay it's, it's just I, I don't know how to explain it it's like relieving yourself from a, a serious burden because with the death card whatever is is finalized you know whatever is walking away whatever is going away no longer serves its purpose and you may think that you are losing but in reality you are uh, you are winning because uh, this thing is in flux and needs to and you need to liberate yourself from it okay so throughout this week whatever aspect of your life uh, does not want to pro progress any further and wants to get away from your life you should let it go because you don't want that death card 
to be replaced with the tower because the tower usually takes place when you know you try to borrow the time of the enterprise through the death card and then the tower comes and takes it away forcefully so you have to willingly let it go saying letting letting go a certain enterprise or certain relationship or, or you know a certain job as well um, so you can replace it with something much more productive afterwards so moving next we do have the challenges that you have to stand against and that is the ten of the challenge of the ten of pentacles and um, you're going to have a rough time accepting your independence and your freedom okay uh, when um, when you let go of those uh, outdated concepts and uh, and when you because this is a change through substitution right so when that thing that wants to get out from your life gets out you are gonna have a tough time to find a a, a suitable replacement if you will now that suitable replacement is gonna come on its own accord and it's very important to position yourself comfortable according to life in general okay and to um how can i say to think about what of your means of your assets either money time efforts whatever you can invest in yourself and in your future development because make no mistake here with the world as energy card definitely there are to be a much not much but let's say a brighter different perspective for you moving forward into the future and it will be such a shame if you don't have anything to offer in order to feed on that uh, that perspective like i said if your relationship is walking away from you then it's going to be substituted with another relationship and if you kind of mourn or rather like you are clinched into the old relationship you won't have anything to offer into the new relationship if you will so it's very important here that is to be the challenge to understand that your resources your assets needs to be directed toward the thing that comes to to you rather than to the one that it is going away from you and uh, then we do have the gifts and the blessings that you get to enjoy so that is the strength cards um don't know how to describe it so the first gift and blessing here it is uh, the perseverance through patience meaning that uh, regardless of what you're gonna go through what kind of a substitution you are gonna go through uh, the week you're not you are going to remain your cool and your count your cool and your calmness as well because with the strength card you always gonna know how to answer to the exterior in the sense of that you know some some sort of, a, of an, an event happen and you are not going to either be um, not resentful but let's say neglecting it or overthrowing yourself into it but you are always gonna know how to act, how much passion to throw to throw in you know and how to tackle in generally with uh, with the things moving forward with how much enthusiasm you are to tackle with the um, with the enterprises that are standing in front of you but above everything else with the strength card of a blessing uh, that card points that you are going to have the enthusiasm to look forward for a new things that are to happen to you which we can see here happening uh, from the um, of, of, from the energies and from the topic of the situation itself and above everything else with the strength card once you kind of like fixture yourself upon one fulcrum no one or nothing will be able to sway your view or your opinion so you here with the gift and blessings you will enjoy not being touched by exterior influence of your friends of your family you say of your rivals uh, or, or supervisors bosses and so on and so forth pretty much you will have the right direction set in front of yourself throughout this uh, particular week so how are the people gonna look at you here uh, that is the full card so people are gonna see you first and foremost a um, like aiming for a brand new thing now that is not a um, that is not a bummer giving the first couple of uh, the first couple of cards but also people are going to see you very like heartened uh, and very detached from the midst of difficulties if you will that you are not concerning yourself right now you know how um 
beneficial that new substitution are gonna have uh, is going to be for you. You're not concerning yourself how uh, difficult you know the path moving forward is going to be. The only thing that you are going to con uh, that people see you concerning yourself with it is that it can happen. You know, and what will happen when that thing happens? So people are going to see you very uh, energetic, innocent, and pure. And with that, uh, most of those who does not see you as a, a potential, uh, if you will, not partner in relationship, but like partner as a company, well, they this time around are going to uh, give you a chance if that is the expression, or they will try it out to kind of uh, find a mutual tongue uh, with you. And you can expect to have a a little bit more friends after this week uh, ends or a little bit more people that you can have a good time with should I say and the last one here it is the guidance that Taro is offering and that will be the tree of swords and I said at the start of the reading you know that the results are results you may not like them but they are as they are okay and this card here points that you even if the results does not satis satisfies you completely from the endeavor that it is going away that it is now set to an end you know you should uh, pretty much stop allowing those negative thoughts to dwell within your mind because what happens when they dwell in within your mind is to twist and tangle your mind and then you are going to feel lost and like with, you are with your back against the wall so the tree of swords it's more like that you need to recognize the true circumstances in the sense of that you did what you could and you just have to make your peace with whatever the situation is right now and then look for a new if you will shores to conquer new la new lands to conquer and new fields where you are going to grow even uh, even further so pretty much this card points that you should not be stuck with the past but rather look forward for the future so that being said leo this was your weekly general tarot reading guys uh june 1st to june 7 2020 a major major week for you it does look like that many things are gonna change and they will give you a uh a room to unfold here at the very least to place a accurately you know resources as an emotional resources money as well you know and they are going to give you a chance to become successful career wise relationship wise etc etc so uh, that being said if you are um up for a, a private reading you can check out my website which is listed here uh into the description down below and there you're going to find a full list of my services as well their pricing and that is the way you uh, purchase a private reading and as well if you like the way i read tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way uh, my third season of tarot classes is starting 21st of june and in order to sign up for it you can go to my uh to my website once again and under the um section of tarot classes you can sign up for it uh so that being said we may see each other around until then bye